We're not allowed to go out of South Africa. This video is about how traveling can go wrong if you are disorganized. I only have a few more days here in South Africa. But it's also about making lemonade out of lemons when things go wrong. Namibia, here we come. We land literally in the middle of the Namibian desert. <laughs> We are Steven as and welcome to our crazy scene. We realized my visa is running out. I only have a few more days here in South Africa. Steven, of course, can stay for as long as he wants. I am only allowed three months. So we are here at VFS to try to extend my visa. Is this VFS? Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, we had to for to extend my wife's visitor visa. Essentially, the I think it's a, the 11.1 .1 or something. Extend the law. It has to be 60 days prior. 60 days prior. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! I really didn't know that. You can uh, as long as it's still within seven days of its expiry. This this application. This application. Okay. And in case I need to leave the country before. Normally, what happens is if you lodge in the application. Mm -hmm. and you still you have a receipt awaiting for the decision mm -hmm. of the application you are not allowed to go to the country of origin or whatever country that you have to go to if the current permit that you are holding is expired we're not allowed to go out of south africa really because I had that problem. So we were just informed by the lady working at BFS Global that if I apply for an extension of my visitor's visa, it can take from four to eight weeks. And if I do so, if I apply, I'm not allowed to leave South Africa until my visa is processed. Once your first one expires. Once, Once your first one expires. There is a lady here, she's in the same situation as me. It was now the beginning of a new adventure. To quickly find a flight to one of the neighboring countries, spend a little time there and then go back to South Africa to renew my visa. We thought of two countries, Zimbabwe or Namibia. Regardless of our choice, we still had to drive almost five hours from the town of Wilderness where we were staying to the airport in Cape Town to catch our plane the next day. It would be a long drive. Wow, look at all those baboons! <laughs> Tons of them, it's like, oh, there's one on the back there. <laughs> Tons of baboons. <laughs> this is the next morning. We managed to book a flight, but to Namibia instead. Namibia, here we come! The reason why we're going to Namibia, a few reasons actually. The flights are cheaper and looks like a nice place to explore. Yeah. I love the desert and I would love to see the Namibia desert. <laughs> <laughs> so our plan is just to spend a weekend in Namibia and then we come back to South Africa. Or so we thought. We are waiting to check in for our flight to Namibia. It's gonna be a two hour, 15 minutes flight. It was a major rush this morning getting everything ready. Of course, everything was short notice. I hope we got everything we need, but despite everything else, we are gonna have fun because Namibia is a beautiful country. My stores here, they have really African things like a beaded animals, ostrich eggs, ostrich feathers like for dusters. Plane 
is a little jet because it's a small flight. I'm not liking this very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard this airline flight. We will gladly skycheck them for you. No cooperation and understanding. We land literally in the middle of the Namibian desert. <laughs> Look where we are. It's like in the middle of nowhere, the airport almost. It is in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> there is only sand around. Welcome to the desert. <laughs> there is only a little square patch in the middle of the desert, and that's the airport. And that's it. Swakak Moon. Is, is that the name? It's about 37 kilometers away or 37 minutes away. 38 minutes away. So the closest toilet is at the airport, which is here, and it's already closed. <laughs> it closes at 5. Oh, go. So enjoy the sand dunes, Abby. Sand dunes? Or, oh, there's some toilets. <laughs> The Namib Desert covers 16% of the country. The nearest town to us would be 20 minutes away. It would be 20 minutes of sand and scorching heat. As it was all last minute, even our hotel was booked just before we flew to Namibia. We felt a mixture of fear of the unknown and immeasurable excitement. We've been to Death Valley, Nevada, but the Namibian Desert <laughs> it's vastly dead. <laughs> what happens after here? Well, you will have to wait for the next video. Ah, and before I forget, welcome to Africa.